Aquarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourself at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aquarius, I've been meditating on it, and the words that came to my head for you are, should have known better. Well, <laughs> I'm intrigued. I don't know about you, but I certainly am. Let's take a look, shall we? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. If you want to book a private reading, you have to come to my website. I'm not going to come to you. I'm not going to be up in your DMs or in the comments below. If I am, that's actually not me. That's somebody trying to scam you, so <clears throat> don't fall for it. There's a lot of scammers around at the moment. Should have known better. Because I like, should have known better than to cheer the friend. No, it's not. I kind of feel like this is making a mistake that you've already made before. It's, it sort of feels like that. You've made this mistake in your life already and you've sort of just gone and done it again. You, sh you should have known better, really. So you met your wish fulfillment. You feel that this person was the one. So you kind of felt like, well, all right, the, I, I, I know I've been through this before with someone else, but this one's the one, so I kind of... I'll, I'll make that mistake again for this person. Tell me more about this. Yeah, this is something to do with jealousy. This has quite a lot to do with jealousy. At first I was thinking like that you're the one being jealous, but it's not that, is it? You allowed this person to act a little bit jealous because you, you, you feel like they're the one and it got out of hand. A little bit too out of hand. punches may have been pulled here like uh, physical I feel like uh, I don't like it I actually don't like it at all so I'm going to steer away from that part of the reading it makes me really uncomfortable I mean you could tell me in the comments below if I'm right or not but I just I'm going to steer clear of that part of the reading it makes me feel um, I don't want to see it I feel like this person was jealous towards you. Uh, uh, I kind of feel like it's got something to do with other people, but I also think that it's got something to do with time and uh, not being able to manage time to their requirements. Why are you going to work today when you could spend it with me? I've got to work, I've got bills to pay. So, like, yes, but I should be spending the day with me. Kind of thing. It's the things that you have to do kind of annoyed them. And, uh, but also, like, friends of the opposite sex or gender or whatever you want to call it, or, you know. Friends, just friends. Uh, insane jealousy over these people. I don't like you having this friend in your life. You spend too much time with them. 
Are you sleeping with them? What's going on there? I think that you really loved this person. You felt like they were very special and they, they were the ones. So you kind of ignored quite a lot of red flags until it was too late. Then, then it got, it got physical. I'm gonna ignore that though. I'm gonna move on to what you need to be aware of coming up. Mm. Don't go back to this. This uh, there, there's been some sort of something pretty bad's happened, and what you need to be doing now is seeing the red flags and walking away from this, right? Right? Because you know better, right? You should know better. So walking away is the right decision, right? Don't be accepting apologies. I'll never, I'll never do it again. I didn't mean it. This person's crossed a boundary, crossed a line. There's no going back. There's no going back after that. I'm gonna say don't, don't jump into this again. But I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. I'll never do it again. Life has taught me well, my love, and I'm really trying hard to not get emotional here life has taught me well that if somebody's gonna do that that's their go-to okay if i stub my toe or i bump my head i want to say a really sweary word because that's my go-to and I've tried to not in front of my child many years. Like it's she's nine this next this week. Very recently, I still met her real bad, and she heard a real humdinger of a word, and she's like, "What does that mean?" I couldn't help it. I didn't, I didn't want to. I've I've not sworn in front of my child all of her life until this one time where I really really injured myself but my go-to was to say a really bad word it looks like i mean time has taught me life has taught me well that when somebody is abusive they can be very very sorry afterwards and promise you with all of their heart that they'll never do it again and i think they they even mean it in their in the depths of their soul but when it comes down to it and they're angry again, that is going to be their go-to because they don't know how to not. Okay? And this person is uh, so sorrowful of, of how they treated you. They're, they're heartbroken by it. But I can tell you now that this is their go-to. And if they've done it once, they will do it again. So don't go there. Because you'll regret it. This person is uh, authoritative. If you want to put it in a nice way, yeah, kind of authoritative. If we if we're gonna, you know, bandy words here, domineering. Shall we push it a little bit further? Controlling. Shall we? Shall we take it to what? I, let's. You know, it's all semantics, isn't it? They're abusive. Okay, this person's abusive, and no matter how sorry they are, sorry, not sorry, still gonna do it. I don't like it. I 
I'm going to put trigger warning in the, uh, my screen's gone dark. I'm going to put trigger warning, as I'm using that as my light to illuminate oneself. I'll put trigger warning in the uh, title there because I'm, I'm triggered right now. I don't know about you guys. Anyone else triggered? Put triggered in very large letters in the, the uh, <laughs> in the comments below this triggering me, me i can't even get my words out outcome you're not going to be able to work this out with this person you're going to be very patient with them you're going to try your hardest to be everything that they want you to be because you love this person and this is your one they're not really your person. They're not really your one. Okay. This is a karmic relationship. And the universe sometimes has a very good way of fooling you into thinking that and it's, it's not your person. I'm going to take it and see extended after I've read these oracle cards where I'm going to ask how this person really feels about you, what are their intentions towards you, what do they really want to say to you, some guidance from the universe. Don't watch it. It doesn't matter. Just walk away from this, all right? I'm going to make it anyway because I have to. It's my job. It's what I do. But you don't need to watch it. I'm triggered out of my mind right now. I'm trying very hard to not get upset. Prosperity lies ahead. I'm not with this person though. You don't know how to ease my pain and you cheat and you lie. You don't even know how to say goodbye. You make me wanna cry. 